Good morning, children. In the previous class, we learned some important points about the early humans. History lesson on the trail of the earliest people. So, we, I explained in the previous class some some points about the early humans, isn't it? But I was not there. You were not there. We were not there. Then, how do we know about them? How do we know about these people? See, you, uh, you must have learned in lower classes, children, that there were so many historical sources to learn this, or uh, to know history. To know history, there were so many sources like books, coins, some of the excavations, archaeological sources, the remains of those people, the things which they used, like that. So those are called the sources of history. And in those excavations, we found, archaeologists found some of the things made and used by hunter-gatherers. By hunter-gatherers. What did they use and what did, what did they make? People made, people made and used tools of some wood, stone and bone. They made and used the tools of some stone, wood and bone. Stone, but out of these three, stone, wood and bone, the stone tools have suffered the best. Can you tell me what is the reason for uh, stone to survive children? Because stone is the hard substance. It was very useful for them to hunt the animals and, and they made those uh, uh, tools sharp and used those uh, tools for different uh, activities like uh, hunting the animals, chopping the trees or uh, barks, cutting the leaves, digging the roots to eat for gathering. So like that they used these uh, tools. So stone tools have survived the best. And what about the wood? Wood is used to build houses like huts. They made like huts and uh, stayed in that. So in that way, stone and uh, wood is used for different purposes. They used this wood to stone and bones for different purposes like this. Making stone tools. How did they make? Stone is available as it is. Sometimes in some areas, in some parts of the areas, they found sharp things. So that they stored. Not only that, they made the stone. How did they make? They found two techniques to make the tools. Two techniques to make the stone sharp tools. Because they need sharp tools, they have to throw from here to there to hunt the people. Because they cannot run along with the animals. So they used to throw the sharp things towards them, that they so easily they could hunt the animals. So two ways. How did they sharp the stone? One is stone on stone. Suppose one stone is there, like this. With another stone, they used to be like this. So in that way they used to get one shape to uh, preserve and the other one is pressure plating. What? Keeping the, keeping the stone on a flat surface and beating with other one. How did they flake? You know what all parts are extra to the stone to make it sharp, to, make, to bring a, a specific shape for that. They made it like that. So in that way these are the two Techniques they follow. Stone on stone is one technique and pressure taking is the other technique they use to make the tools, to sharp the tools, to make them convenient to hunt the animals. So those were two techniques. And one surprising, unknowingly, they found why stone to stone, why like that when they are beating, Suddenly they found a, a kind of spark, a kind of spark, they did not understand what is that. That is a fire actually. This brought a drastic change in their lives. Discovering the fire has brought up a drastic
drastic change. They used that fire for different purposes. Actually, they don't know the use of uh, that fire. But after, once after discovering that, they found and they made use of that in a very, very good way. So, how this fire helped them, you know, help them to light, means they got, even night times, they got lighting. Next, uh, to roast the meat. Before that, they were eating raw flesh. Raw flesh. But once when they started, Roasting the meat and eating, they felt it very tasty. So they started roasting the meat. And not only like the children, they were they were living in caves without doors. The door, the entrance was open. So sometimes wild animals may come and um, harm them. For that reason, they understood that by seeing this, uh, by uh, if they have fire. Seeing the fire, the animals would run away from them, for, from there. So, to scare the animals, seeing the fire, the wild animals or whatever animals will run away from them. So, three purposes mainly, they used this fire for light, for roasting the meat and to scare the animals. To scare the animals. So, in that way, they are very safe. Gradually, gradually, climate started changing. They stayed in one place. Climate is not a, uh, permanent. That will be changing. So they observed that the climate is changing and its surroundings started increasing the grasslands. Grasslands. Grasslands developed and, and, and because there are so many grassland around what the animals are depending upon the, uh, on the grasslands. So they understood the food of the animals. What kind of food is needed for them? What kind of food is needed for them? So found, they found the food for the animals. They observed that these animals are going and eating the food. Then they understood that these, what kind of food is needed for the animals. So they started rearing the animals. They started rearing the animals, taking the animals to the grasslands and uh, getting the food for them. And not only that children, they learnt about the food habits of those animals. What, which animal is eating what kind of food? What is required for this, uh, this group of animals? Which food is required for this kind of animal? So, so they learnt, they observed, they observed the food habits of animals and breeding season. Can you tell me what is the meaning of breeding season? Increasing the animal family. Increase in the animal family. Two will give birth to another. Like that, family, animal family, families will be increasing. So that is breeding time, breeding season. In which season animals are going to give birth to their end ones. Like that, that also they observe very carefully. And they learn to grow. Lastly, they learn to grow. Finally, they, they learn to to grow wheat and barley. First they grow, grew wheat and barley. So then they understood how to grow wheat, what kind of climate is uh, uh, needed for wheat and barley. Like that they started growing wheat and barley. And one more thing, stone age. We are saying that because stone tools were uh, used in this uh, early stage, we divide this stone age into three stages, three periods. There are three periods. First period, second period, three, third period. But three different names are given to those three periods. They are, the first one is, the, the first one is Paleolithic period. What is the first one? Paleolithic period. Second one, Mesolithic period. Mesolithic period and the third one is Neolithic period. What are those three periods? Stone age was divided into three periods. Three periods. One is Paleolithic period, Mesolithic period and Neolithic period. Okay? Did you all understand children? About these three periods, about these three periods we are going to learn in the next class. Is it okay? Right.